Yo, so much one for back with another reaction, but this time this isn't a song. This is um one for Auckland City after movie. Obviously, as such, you one for the title that you lot have given me. I need to keep an eye on anything one for. So whether it's a song or an after movie, as today's video is, I still care about it. I still care about everyone that's locked free Selly, free YP, free Lex. It actually bothers me that we're not gonna be getting music from these guys. But I'm hearing a lot of talk. Anyway, nevertheless, Zion from the 27, another goat of the channel. There's three. There's Sefa the Jaffa, Zion, and JT. But <clears throat> um, I'd show my bath because there's so many, but the, the elite people, there's a couple. I've got like there's a couple. Point is, Zion said, be careful though, that there is a little sneak peek of a new song. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of stuff about new music coming. But without any further ado, let's just check this out. Let's look at this. Hey, everyone's scared, you know, they're scared of a change, but it's time to change. It's time to stand up for people. Someone wants something, I don't know what it is, but they see a couple of brown boys come up talking about their struggle and they don't like it. That's so true. Like, <coughs> fam, I've got a good feeling about this video, you know, because like, there's a lot of things that I actually talk about and then I hear bigger people talking about it and then it just instills confidence in me that I'm not just waffling because literally the other day on Xbox I was talking to my friend Ayamo about no I don't know if it was Ayamo was there Tommy was there Anto was there I don't know who else was there but those two definitely and we were talking of oh, Billy as well and we are literally talking about how like the government see the knife crime problem this is London yeah because this is where I live I live in England but there's a knife crime problem obviously overnight they can't just say okay everyone put your knives down because they try it and it just doesn't work no one's stupid like my cousin Eddie when we go see his house he lives in Tottenham like Tottenham, like Edmonton area, like if you know it, like it's it's bad. One of the worst places in London, and literally round the corner from his house, there's a bin for your knives. And do you think someone's gonna, gonna drop their knife in that bin? Because it, what if there's a camera watching? Like you might go. Why would you have a mask if you're gonna just drop a knife in the bin? So you go bait face, and then they they catch you for possession of an article. Like there's things like that that the government tried to do, but it's it's just not gonna work. But there is a bigger thing that they can do, but they have to figure it out. And everyone knows it's not going to be an overnight solution. You have to actually take time to research into the people that are doing these things because their friends would go in jail and then 10 months later, they're going to jail for the exact same thing. So in their mind, they do not care. They see that their friend's going away for 30 years, his whole life in jail, and yet he's still not putting down that knife. So if the government really cared, they would have actually taken the time to solve the problem, but it just doesn't feel like they are. And then when they make music to try and help themselves, themselves um they take down drill songs they stop them from doing shows like one for a jm can even go to new zealand like he's just gonna do music no one's gonna get hurt there's thousands of fans that want him there and yet they say nah it's not happening so it makes no sense so here it's literally black guys and there i think it's yp saying they see a couple brown boys and now they don't like it and it's true <coughs> Immigration here in Auckland. JM's, Urch, and Spinny got flagged as kind of we expected. It's sad that they expect it as well. That's what makes me sad, but yeah. Like, look, that's, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Don't of course. Spenny's saying he doesn't want to hear booze when he's on stage. I'm sure it doesn't mean at him, but it's just the fact that they're booing the country as a way of like, boo, like, why are you not letting our favourite rappers come? Like, what's wrong with you? But now Spenny, I see him holding it down, so I respect that. And he replied to my DM ages ago as well, which I respect, on the um, Lads in the Hood video. So respect to uh, Spenny. You know what? They're watching the whole show. thing. My nigga got fucked with the phone. Yeah. <laughs> That's the right energy. Just tuned in this morning. We've got the boys from uh, 1 4 in here. They're getting ready for their show tonight. Doors open at 7 30 at the power station. Oh, I've seen a lot of people confused online. They're like, oh man, like, you know, it's. I'm excited. You know, they love Speedy, but like, how is he going to carry the yeah, show? Yeah. What's he going to do? Like, you know, what's happening tonight? It's not really about me or, or Lex, you know what I mean? It's, we're, we're close to shutting down the show. You know, there's a thousand people that bought tickets. You know? Yeah. They might as well put it on, they might put it on. That's what I mean, like, people paid their money to go to these shows. 
just for the police to be like, hmm, it's a bit violent, isn't it? Nah, not happening. Fun. Just winds me up, and it's not fair. It's not fair at all. I know I feel a bit pressured to do it, but that's what they want. They want us to cancel the show, and if we cancel the show, they will. Because if you give in, and you're like, oh, nah, it's getting too long, I don't want to do it, then they win. But if you carry on doing the show and prove them that thousands of people will pay money, not only to be in the show, for transport to get there. I'm, not, I'm sure, fam, people come from Australia to New Zealand. That costs money in itself. Even if you're not going to a 1-4 show, it costs money to get from country to country. And they're doing it for the music that the police are trying to stop. Like, when will they get the message? All of a sudden, they don't want to bang. All of a sudden, they don't want to Unreleased song? Who's this? What's that about? But you know, this is a movie, bro. It's a movement as well. Mm. This time will never be forgotten. Exactly. Oh, Puff that shisha. Wait, my boy, wait. 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 My boy, you see what I mean? There's thousands of people there. Like, I'm not gonna lie, what YP did was a bit mad. I'm not condoning that. But the fact is, the fact that that many people will go, not only to support the music, but when one of the members gets locked that they actually care about, they can get the whole venue screaming free YP. Like, that, f things like that just move people. Like, this is moment, moments like this is why so many people connect to draw music, because you understand that it's a struggle. From the moment they're born, literally just, the lottery of where you're born, no one chooses when they're in the womb. Hmm, let me let me grow up on Mount Druid. Like, whilst, yeah, they love the place, a lot of them say, like, yeah, when I get big, like, obviously, you're going to move. Like, it's like if you live in ends in London, you're not going to get massive, get millions of pounds and still live in ends. It doesn't make sense. So... Numbers but got less men You got kids like henchmen They turn tough on land But in real life change up like Ben 10 Aye Don't want war with me But in real life They hit control I seen this in Instagram ah! Back to back to my goobs So if I was there Get your chef like Smitty Run not down Leave it away Aye! Firm they put this on Instagram. Mm. I think <laughs> this is the song a lot of you have sent me this song to react to. I think I know what because Zion said there's a sneak peek of a song. I think it's a YP song because I've been told by at least. 20 people, so many people, so I'm not stupid, I'm pretty certain that's what we're about to hear. Let's hear it, dude. <laughs> this is what I mean, the like final rehearsal. So they have they plan for these things just for Jam to be denied access into the country in the first place. <laughs> You see, they're getting into the music. Mama always said, pray for the best, expect the worst. Don't make promises if you got luck and you work. If you're doing it wrong, you don't be willing to work. He's a steady JM, I see you guys. <laughs> Controlling my young mind like a puppet. Yo, even on a slow beat, I see him coming with bars. Never a boss, I was running. <clears throat> like how uh, Abracadabra was like in his butt, he said um he was never at the top of the trap line, like he was a runner. 
<laughs> Literally, <clears throat> the Islanders, they're also Samoans, so like one four, they're Samoan. So, other day when Chill My Boss said, like, the people that listen to Joy, he meant to say that Samoans use, like, what was that, Seki and that. Um, but yeah, I think it's like here that like, we have like bare Jamaicans, bare Nigerians, that like, people come from overseas, like all the black people that like, know you won't you won't find a single black guy who can chase his family tree to generations and generations who grew up in England. That's a lie. Like everyone's from like either Nigeria, I'm from Uganda, um Ghana, Cameroon, my best friend's from Ivory Coast, I've seen a cop like that's a lie. Zimbabwe, all sorts of places. Just like you guys, Zion was telling me how multicultural Australia is you have Samoans, you have Tongans, you even have Africans, bear people, Sudanese people, so many people. And the thing is, is that I'm a normal Islander kid. Even though I've blown up, I've still got the brown skin. Literally, <laughs> even though he's blown up, he's still got the brown skin. Like nothing can change who you actually are inside. Like you your experiences will mould you as a person, but on the inside you will always be the same and that's why I, I have so much respect for Spenny he speaks on behalf of everyone who's ever made it in music they all they, you will never stop being what you are just because you get big just because you put Australia on the map for drill doesn't change the fact you still he still thinks he's a normal islander kid because he is See, I'm just trying to make a living, lad, and just do me Now I ain't stopping till they set me free uh, We stand firm to the word F2P Praying for somebody to rescue me Fam, hey, look at them in their beats Trade it for years time, we're looking back at days like this Yeah When they come to me, John, say my old son, welcome to prison I'll probably still react to that song if you guys want me to I didn't hear any of it, I'm not gonna lie But yo <laughs> I like the beat. Shout out to Caroline Otter. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's it. Um, yeah, that's a nice little film there. I like that a lot. I respect how it's it's not easy being big and draw because you have fans, a lot of fans who want a lot of shows. And shows make money. So it's a win-win for everyone. It's a win. You get the money, they get the show. Like, I would do a lot. I would pay a lot of money to go to a 1-4 show, like, fam, I'm definitely doing that at one point, but then they locked up um, YP for four years, two on probation, so he has to serve at least two years, like I've already said, for me, that's that's uni, like, he's going to be in jail until I'm in uni, so, like, <clears throat> it's it's just not really fair, but, you know what, Splendid's holding it down, even Lex has gone now as well, for, actually, he has to serve four years, that's just stupid, but JM... It looks like he can't even do shows in New Zealand, but I guess they are an Australian group. So in Australia, they, hopefully there shouldn't be too many problems there. But yo, I like that a lot. I respect how they know that it's more than music. It's a whole lifestyle. Like just because you do draw doesn't change the fact that as White Spenny said, he's still just a normal Islander kid. And I respect that a lot. So yeah, thank you for telling me to react to that. I really like that. It's something different for a change. But I still, I just really appreciate and respect that it's it's not easy for one for it's not easy. Like just like how here it's not easy at all having to, like I remember when 6-7 were first getting big, like, they, they were so big and yet doing shows was hard. But even gigs, that's not even full on job, that was grand back in the day and even for him doing shows was hard. But thank you very much for actually telling me to react to that again, I respect it so much. Thank you to everyone who suggested that, thank you to Zion, couple more people, I think JT maybe. Sefer the Jaffa, I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised, but um, if you shouted, if you shouted at me to do it, I didn't mention you just now, but you know you, who you are, um, so thank you for that. But yeah, um, I've been searching on for back with another reaction, and yeah, I'll be back again soon.